everyone a mudslide taking out a road in Campbell County, also leaving a lot of you out there without water for several hours. Yeah, if you are Lisa Drudy, look at this, sending us this photo yesterday of Little Elk Creek Road. Now you can actually see, if you look closely here, there's a large gap right in the middle of the roadway. Yeah, that looks pretty dangerous yep. there. On your side tonight, reporter Blake Stevens getting to the bottom of what happened and what's being done to fix it. A lot of rain falling in Campbell County. <laughs> Leading to a lot of work here on Little Elk Creek Road. Crews repairing the damage left from a mudslide Tuesday. And it basically just dropped off in the road. And when it dropped off, it, there was a lot of water that came off the side of that mountain there. And, and it actually went under the road, and the road had dropped, and it caused the utility line to break. Campbell County Road Superintendent Ron Delbach saying his team stabilizing this slope. Digging up the soft spots, replacing them, and eventually repaving the road. You've heard the saying, another man's trash is another man's treasure. That's how David Perry looks at this project. The road department hauling some of the wood to his home up the road. When you saw this work going on, what's the first thing popped into your mind? Well, the first thing popped in was at least the roads can fix where it broke off. And then I see the place all this wood out, and I smashed right there's plenty of firewood just to help stay warm with this winter. Dilbeck explaining mudslides are common after a lot of rain, especially in rural mountainous areas like this one. Dilbeck saying this could happen anywhere in the county. Above this area was a strip mine location. And that and makes it more susceptible to Yeah, this? where the ground's not as stable. The ground's not as stable because strip mining is Yes, happen. yeah. So you're still paying for the, the work done decades ago? Yeah, truthfully, yeah. While crews hoping the weather cooperates, Perry hoping to get at least two ricks of wood out of this. Lord, we go through 25, 30 ricks about every six months during the winter, and that's figures $50, $60 a rick right now. If you're buying it and you have to go out and try to cut it, it's hard to find trees laying down to cut. So, A problem he may not have to worry about for a while. In Campbell County, Blake Stevens, WATE 6 on your side. All right, thank you, Blake. Crews hope to open up one lane of traffic on Little Elk Creek Road tomorrow. Yeah, they hope to complete the entire project uh, there on Friday, of course, weather permitting. Gonna have to watch that closely. All right, a couple of